Extreme Trends presents, Their wedding took a deadly turn when the groom stops his vows to jump into the ocean. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. A wedding is a magical time for any couple. We are all waiting for that moment where we will tie knots with the person we want to spend the rest of our lives with. It is a once-in-a-lifetime event. That's why couples prepare for it to be as perfect as it could be. However, weddings never go exactly according to plan. Whether it's the DJ playing the wrong music, the best man having his hangover, or the flower girl having stage fright. Despite these obstacles, weddings can usually be salvaged. And just as what we expected, Zach is the living example of this. Zach and Cindy are living their best lives on the southern coast of Alabama. They decided that the best place to memorialize their love in front of all their friends and family would be in Orange Beach, on the beach itself. This was close to home, where they would gather all of their guests at a romantic spot looking over the water. Knowing that Zach was an officer with the Coast Guard based at Sector Mobile, Alabama as well, the thought of getting married by the sea must have felt like a dream. When it came down to the big day, they both had butterflies in their stomach. From the beginning, the ceremony was going great, yet midway through, everything suddenly stopped. They were originally planning to have just a small gathering with a few choice guests, mostly close family. As the time went on, it grew to be something much, much bigger. But then Cindy and Zach became even more excited, because more and more people whom they love could join in and celebrate their union on the beach. The day finally came. This was a day that Zach and Cindy had planned for celebrating the rest of their lives together. Everything seemed to be perfect. Cindy was such a blooming bride and Zach can't take his eyes off of her. The weather was partly cloudy, yet the clouds of the morning dissipated by the time the couple needed to exchange vows. They said, I do, and then proceeded to take pictures. Neither of them planned for anyone's life to be at risk. However, things are sometimes beyond our control. Their dream wedding turned into a nightmare though, as they were interrupted by a woman who noticed something in the ocean. She approached the couple, frantically pointing out to the water. Hey, she said, that kid out there, he's having a hard time getting back in. The kid was actually 18-year-old Jamel Robinson, who swam too far out and couldn't make it back. He was having a hard time keeping his head out of the water, and the current had pulled him over 50 yards out to sea. Someone needed to go out and do something because this young man's life was dangling by a thread. That day, a red flag was raised, which means that swimming is absolutely prohibited. Unfortunately for Jamel Robinson, he didn't heed these warnings. First of all, there was no one else available to get in the water and pull him out in time. Looking at what was currently happening, Zach is on the state that his wedding was the last thing on his mind. Without hesitations, Zach looked at his newlywed bride, and she knew what he had in mind. Go get him, Cindy told him. Zach pulled off his shirt as fast as he could. He was a strong swimmer, but these were treacherous waters. He would need some sort of flotation device to help the boy stay above water. Luckily, there were two others on the way to save Jamel Robinson, teenagers with boogie boards. Zach knew that the situation was too risky for too many people to enter the water at once, so he told one, Give me your boogie board. Go back now. Fortunately, Zach was able to take hold of the boy and placed his head under the boogie board. For Jamel's rescuer, though, his wet pants were beginning to drag him down underwater as he tried to bring the boy back to land. Lifeguards came by with rescue sleds, but by that time, Zach was completely exhausted. It felt like all the energy he had was spent. The important thing, though, was that all three of them were safe. As the trio was being treated by emergency medical crews, the first responders were pleased to see that everyone was fine. Jamel Robinson's family was delighted with Zach. As it turns out, it was only chance that put Zach on the beach that day. It's a story to tell. It was incredible. The fact that this man took time out of his special day to save someone else was really special. Our beaches are family friendly and have multiple first responders to keep people safe. They do such wonderful jobs sometimes, even when they're off duty like Zach. But of course, it's up to us to be water safe too. Make sure to read signs and warnings. It's a great help. There are reasons why they're there. Thanks for watching until the end. Be sure to tap on the next videos for more incredible stories here on Extreme Trends.